Welcome to the 15th annual meeting of the Internet Governance Forum. My name is Anne-Reed Esterhuisen and I am the chair of the IGF Multi-Stakeholder Advisory Group. This year, the 15th annual IGF will be hosted online under the overarching theme Internet for Human Resilience and Solidarity. The decision to have an online IGF is to ensure everyone's safety and security but it's also an opportunity for us to explore how to make the IGF more inclusive, more innovative, and how to maximize participation. To this end, the IGF will take place in two, two phases over many different time zones. The program has been developed around four main themes, data, environment, inclusion, and trust. These themes were identified through an open consultation process based on the input of the IGF community. Environment is a new theme and it has been introduced because there was a call for it and, and we trust that it, it will evolve into an increasingly important part of our work. And another theme, perhaps a cross-cutting theme or a fifth theme this year, is the theme of digital cooperation. Many of you will be aware of the UN Secretary General's process and document called a Roadmap for Digital Cooperation. And at the IGF, we'll explore what the IGF's role is in this process, how the IGF can evolve, how it can become the IGF Plus to support the process of effective cooperation in the area of internet development and policy making. The High Level Leaders Track this year, which is organized by the United Nations, will focus on internet governance in a time of uncertainty. In particular, it will look at the use of technology and the policy responses and policy needs that have emerged from this year's very unique circumstances of the pandemic, but circumstances that could occur again in, in different ways. And finally, there will also be many networking sessions at the IGF. There will be sessions to look at the intersessional modalities of the IGF, the national, regional, and youth IGF initiatives. Um, you can learn about dynamic coalitions, about best practice forums, about what they've produced, but also how you can become part of them, or you yourself um, initiate one of these intersessional modalities. There are also open networking slots where members of the IGF community can apply for a slot, and there'll be pre-organized sessions in your own language, looking at regional internet governance challenges, and also sessions that, that allow us to just be together and talk in our own language. So um, on that note, I will leave you to enjoy the rest of this video. You will hear from MAG members, from members of the Secretariat, and it will give you a sense of what you'll find at this year's IGF. But in closing, I just want to affirm that the IGF is a creation of those who participate in it, those who propose sessions, those who participate in sessions, those who speak at sessions. So um, the IGF is not a process that belongs just to the MAG or the Secretariat. It really is a creation of all of us in the IGF community. So wishing everyone an enjoyable, productive, challenging, um, but meaningful IGF. Goodbye. <laughs>